Hi guys, my name is Jennifer and I've decided to start a floss tube and be part of the community. Excuse you. Okay. Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer and I've decided to start a floss tube and join the community and share my progress and my projects and just everything. Um, a little bit about myself. I'm 28 years old. Um, married. I'm an army wife. We currently live in Colorado. We just moved here a few weeks ago and then a hailstorm happened and our car was totaled. So that was a great welcoming. Love Colorado. Other than that, um, we do not have kids, but we do have two dogs who... I mean, they're like our children. We have a nine-year-old multi-poo, and he's like 17 pounds. And then we have like a 100-pound Great Dane, and she is only two and a half years old. So those are our children. We love them. They're my stitching buddies. Um, what else? A little bit of like my history with stitching. Um, I didn't know what cross-stitching was up until around three years ago. I ran into like a floss tube video on YouTube and I started looking into it. I was curious. I started watching videos on how to cross stitch and I went to Hobby Lobby, bought what I needed. I didn't really know what I was doing. I'm just, you know, I'm self-taught. Um, I got into it a little bit, um, but then I kind of went off and I got into sewing and, and quilting and crocheting and then all these, all these things, right? So I didn't really um, dive deep into cross stitching. I knew that I liked it, but it, you know, it's it's one of those hobbies that you really have to appreciate because it takes patience and it's a it takes a long time to complete a pattern. And at the time, I was just wanting to, you know, do all these other things. So I didn't really give myself the opportunity to like fully, um, to fully see if I liked it or not. I guess. So, fast forward three years. So a few months ago, um, I ran across another uh, floss tube video, and it was actually Cassandra, who um, I used to watch, uh, you know, three years ago when I started watching floss tube. And um, I, I don't know her YouTube channel, but I'll link it down below. Um, you know, I was watching her video, and and then you know the recommended videos come up next to them, and I just fell deep into the floss tube community again, and I decided, you know what, let me try it again, and this time allow myself to fully experiment and see if it's something that I really like. Well, I was in the middle of a military move, so all the things that I had for stitching were in storage in Florida, so. I didn't really have anything. I had to start from scratch and buy every, buy everything again, you know, twist my arm. I had to go shopping. Um, went to Hobby Lobby again, and I was in Arizona at the time. Um, this was just about three months ago. Went to Hobby Lobby, and I, you know, had to buy another Q-snap and, you know, needle. I, you know, I didn't buy too much because I wasn't sure if, if it was something that I was going to really love. Let's just say I'm obsessed. I just want to do all like all the things. Um, so I started off, you know, of course I started off with the cell. Like who who does that? Like why didn't I just get a small project? No, I just dived right into a cell. Um, yeah, my dogs are going crazy. Hey, calm down, calm down. Come here, say hi, say hi. This is my Great Dane. Say hi. She is my little baby. She's the sweetest thing ever. All right, go. Go. Go play. Uh, and I might as well show you. Chance, come here. Come here, love. And this is my little baby. And um, excuse the, you know, he needs some grooming. But this is my nine-year-old. And she's very jealous of him. Okay, go, guys. Go. Go play. Anyway, um... So, love stitching now. Um, I wish that I just had more time to stitch all the time. But, you know, 
life happens. Um, I am self-employed and I work from home and you know some days I work long hours and it's hard to find you know a lot of time to dedicate to stitching which is why I was hesitant to make um, to create a, a floss tube because I feel like once you get a video up you are kind of expected to show a lot of progress and you know a weekly whip update and finishes and all this stuff let me just say that I have never had a finish I just have a lot of whips because I just want to start all the things but I have trouble finishing them so my goal is to focus more on finishing things and um, just kind of take you guys along and show you my progress as I go and um, I have one close finish which I'll show you and it was actually my first project from three years ago. Um, what else? Hmm. I think that's it. I'm just going to show you my whips now that I have. So three years ago when I started cross stitching, this was my first project. This is what I learned to stitch on is 14 count Ada. And this is kind of what I have. Um, I don't know why I never finished this. Um, all I need to do is a little more of the trunk and I'm done. Like, I don't know why I didn't finish it. But this was my first ever project and, you know, I'm not loving the design anymore. Like, it's fine. Um, but I think I'm just going to finish it just to finish it. Just to have a finish. And this was my first project. I might as well finish it and just be done with it, you know. So that was my first ever project. This is how I started learning. And let's see here. I also started this a few years ago. And, you know, I stitched on it for maybe a week and then I put it down. It is the Frosted Pumpkin Stitcheries um, Passport. I, I forget what it's called. I'm actually not feeling it anymore. I don't love it. I don't think I'm going to finish it. To be honest, I might just cut this part off and use the fabric for something else because I love the fabric. It is the called for 32 count Belfast Ale. So it is cute, but I just don't feel like I would like hang it anywhere. Like I don't know what I would do with it. And I have other projects that I like more. So I think I'm just going to kind of push that one aside. Um, you know, and then as years go by, your taste changes and what you thought you liked before, you don't always like anymore. Okay, so current whips. These, This is what I've kind of started um, within the last about three months now. So, I have a notebook where I kind of like keep track of the fabric that I use for a certain project and stuff like that. So this is the designer Satsuma Street on Etsy. And this is the Halloween Cat. I dyed the fabric myself. It is on 28 count even weave and I use the Rit, like the liquid Rit uh, in navy blue. And this is what I got. Love it. This is what it is supposed to look like. I think it's just so cute with the pumpkins and the cats and stuff. So I haven't worked on that for, for a while, but I do love it. I want to get back into that. Next I have, let me see. This is another Satsuma Street and is, this is in, um, this is on Ada. And this is called Santa's Flight. And it's like a pastel. Um, like a pastel Christmas, not your average, you know, red and green colors. I love the way this looks. Um, you know, the pastel colors are beautiful. It's different. I just find myself not enjoying, um, stitching it because there's so many color changes. But look at this. It's so cute over the village. Look at all those colors. I mean... It's beautiful. I just find myself not reaching for it because first it's on Ada and you know, I like linen more personally. And second, it's 
dark fabric, which makes it a little more difficult. And then just there's just so many color changes and it just kind of keeps me from gravitating toward it. Um, I would like to finish it, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. Next. When I jumped back into cross stitching a few months ago, of course I started another cell. Why? Why do I do this to myself? I started the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery into the Jungle Cell. Um, mind you, I started a few months ago, so this was already like halfway through the year, so I'm very far behind. I love this though. I, I wish I didn't choose Ada, but I still love it. It's in light oatmeal color. DMC Charles, just regular Ada from Hobby Lobby. I love this because I feel like every time I finish a little animal, it's just like a mini finish. And I, I've been wanting to grab this again and I've just been obsessed with another project that I'm about to show you, but I do really want to pick this back up very soon. So there's that one. And let me see, I'm going through my little notebook here that I keep track of my projects. Here is um, another frosted pumpkin stitchery, a very merry Christmas town. So on this one I did change a few things. I know I changed the roof to gray instead of a brown. And this one, let me see here. If you haven't seen it, it's super cute. So I did change a few things. I also changed the actual color of the toy shop. So it's like an orange, I think. Oh, it's a pink. And I did a blue. I did the blue and then I changed a brown to a gray. So I like how it's coming out so far. Love Christmas, so. And then, I think this is my last whip. And this is the one I've been like obsessed with. And of course it's another cell. Why do I do this to myself? Why? And this is the tiny modernist haunted cell. Let me see. So this is called the haunted mansion cell. And the first room was released about a week and a half ago. And it's super, super cute. Let me show you. So this is what it looks like. So as you can see, all the other rooms are blurry because she's gonna release them one by one. But let me just zoom into this first room. Look at how cute that is. I can't wait to start on that. And this is why I haven't gotten to any of my other projects because this has been like an obsession. I love it, it's beautiful. It's like one of my favorite ones right now. And I love the fabric. It has modeling on it. It is um, the called for fabric, which is picture this plus haunted and it's 28 count Lugana and I absolutely love it. I really enjoy stitching this. And then I have one more whip actually. I just started this like two days ago and this is Country Cottage Needleworks Bless Our Home. And I'm changing some of the colors, of course, because I like to change stuff up. This is what I have so far. And I don't recall the fabric that I used, but if you want to know, um, comment below and I'll look it up. But it is like a really pretty light blue and it has some, it's hard to see, but it has some like white modeling. Really, really pretty. Um, you can't see white on it very well, but... Um, a lot of the white has like outlines of the different colors so it'll pop more the only thing I'm kind of worried about is like the little fence but we're just gonna we're gonna roll with it we're gonna see how it is so I changed the house color the door color that was an accident I don't know why I thought no I do know why because the color that I'm using is called barn door and in my head door I just made the door the barn door color what, what was I thinking I don't I don't know but um, we're just gonna roll with it a red door it's a patriotic um, 
you know, design either way. It's going to look good. The flag's going to be the same color red, so we're just going to roll with it. What else? Um, I did want to share, like, my stash of the designs that I, or the patterns that I own. I have digital patterns, and I have... Um, like physical patterns, but I think that's gonna take a little too long So if you're interested, let me know and I can make a separate video just so you could have like an idea of the type of designs that I like um, I will say that I'm more into if you haven't already noticed more into like the cutesy, I guess um, I know a lot of people are into more I, I don't even know what category you would consider like samplers and um, you know Hades and Mirabil, all those things. That's just way too advanced for me. And I'm not, I think they're beautiful, but it's not something that I would enjoy right now. At this moment, I'm kind of liking the, the cutesy stuff. So a lot of Country Cottage Needleworks, Little House Needleworks, Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery, um, Satsuma Street. I love all those things. So that's just kind of my style right now, I guess. Um, I kind of have like a temporary like organization that I'm doing right now so if you're interested in that I can make a video on that as well and yeah that's about it this is my stitching spot um, just my couch this is where I stitch I have one of these lights that's very bright it has a magnifying glass but I don't use that really um, I'll only ever use it if um, I'm really struggling with this with an area or have a knot or something and I really need to focus but 95% of the time I don't use it um, it just happened to come with it so that was a bonus um, if you want to know this isn't a hot light it's a different brand but if you're interested let me know and I'll come I'll link it below so I think that's I think that's about it oh, I, I'm excited to share my progress and and post more and just kind of engage more with everybody um, I do post on my Instagram. I post on the Instagram story sometimes and then I'll post uh, pictures of my progress. Um, so if you want, follow me on Instagram. It's Jen underscore crafts. That's J-E-N-N -N underscore crafts. Um, so I do post uh, my updates there as well. And I think that's pretty much it. I appreciate you guys listening to me. Um, wanted to kind of make this video a little short and sweet and that's about it let me know if you have any questions down below and thank you guys for watching bye